invoking the scent of a hymen's hair. Because just like Jesus Christ's best friends, Mary exists. Or does do dig. As was is shall well ever be. And we are all together now. A living nursery run. A day in the life of time. A shooting star jumping over the moon. Spooning the cow as the fiddler jams. Stare way to heaven on the rooftop of an 80s cargo luxury van. Oi. Oi. <laughs> Oi. Legend takes whatever it can get. Apparently, in 1830, a prairie girl named Mary took her lamb to school, stashing it under her coat. The teacher discovered when Mary's lamb lived up to a poem, following Mary around like some religious nut job bugging Jesus for his autograph. <laughs> a preacher's kid wrote it all down and gave the poem to Mary, making nursery rhyme history, immortality's reality in a sea of forgotten graves. For off the God boy went to Harvard with his literary gift, where he up and dropped dead of tuberculosis, never even getting close to writing his thesis. True story with a moral. Give it while you've got it, because you're gonna be dead. Yeah. Tell that story to the next four-year-old in bed, and maybe, just maybe, he'll take his own life seriously enough to live. Actually give blood sweating blues like a rift, like Dr. T is his Jesus. Gliding high in a double-decker Muppet magic bus. Dulling Diglo to the masses. <laughs> whose whoremongering hormones score golden orgasms of sin. The smiley face stickers in the Special Olympics of Life. Growing hair on our palms till everyone goes blind. Button down in mutton down, Mary couldn't see a thing. Maybe Mary masturbates an afterlife of glowing red fire. But what I want to know is why those drunk ass rednecks have to burn her house down, Mr. Death. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Woo! Senior Death to you. I'm Johnny! I'm Johnny's oh,